YouTube? Would you look at all this stuff? If you clicked on this video because the title was epic, uh, ROG, I don't know what it is, build, and you came here to learn something, you are in the wrong place. But stick around because it could get a little bit interesting. If you ever wondered what would happen if a redneck that had uh, saved up his money for a long time and had no clue how to build a computer, bought all this crap and tried to cram it together and make it work, then this is the video for you. So let's go! Okay, so let me stop right there. Last night, me and Harrison was excited. I was excited, he was excited. We just wanted to see this monitor. We wanted to get it out of the box. And I tried to run through all the stuff that, that I was doing in this build. And I was tired and I just couldn't think of the names and I was just saying um a whole lot. So I wanted to just start over on this video and give you guys a rundown on the parts that's in this build. Let me let my cat in because he's not going to stop until I let his ass in here. He's going to come in here and rub all over everything while I'm trying to show you guys. But I wanted to go over some of the things that's, that's in this build. Kick hat, come on in. Come on in, kick hat. I want to start with the, the Ryzen 7. This is the 2700X. I've had this thing for over a year. Some of the parts in this build, I have been like saving, saving, saving. So some of these things like, I don't really think that, that I'm going to bottleneck at this, but we'll just have to see, you know, once we get it put together and see how things perform and everything. All right, so we're going to be running that as the processor. We're going to be running that thing through this uh, ROG Strix uh, X470F gaming motherboard. We're going to be running it through this, and, and this thing is also pretty close to out of date, but... I, th I think I'm going to be fine. It's, I'm not really worried. The only thing that's got me worried is that we're running a 2080 Ti through this thing, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I might bottleneck a little bit in this area. And, uh, you know, I've got a good build going, so if I've got to upgrade my motherboard and the processor, that's okay. I can use this in, like, a streaming PC or pass it down to Harrison or something. That's not that big a deal. So let's move on. We're going to be using... Uh, this is the G-Skill Neo. This is... Uh, you know the here i am saying uh, a whole lot but i'm gonna try to explain things a little better than i did in the other video but this is the this is for ryzen type uh, processors because you know they this processor for some reason needs a lot of speed i'd like to say something real quick a lot of people say you save money by using an amd processor but i think that's false because you have to buy super expensive ram to be able to like run so Anyway, moving on. This is 3600 speed. This is two sticks of 16 gigabyte, and it's 16, 16, 16, 36. So we'll be trying to like get some clock speeds out of that. Um, for my hard drive, I got a 500 gig. Uh, this is the one that I'm gonna boot my Windows to and stuff like that. This is the NVMe M.2. One terabyte Team Force uh, SSD hard drive. We're gonna put some games and stuff on that one. We're, we're gonna get us a mechanical, a big hard drive later. This ought to just get us in the business. Okay, moving on to the power supply. Got the ROG Thor 850 watt power supply like this. It's uh, what is it? Platinum rated. 850 watts. Got the little display on it, and it's got the RGB. Everything's Aura Sync, so that's cool. Gonna be using that, gonna be cooling the processor with this. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. This is the 240 millimeter uh, all-in-one cooler. Um, we'll, we'll talk more about this here in just a second. The peripherals, that pretty much takes care of, of that kind of stuff. You know, I've got the flare keyboard. I'm gonna try out this light right here, see how that does. Got the uh, mouse pad that's got the built-in wireless charging on it and it glows. Flat clicker. Got the headphone throne here that's also got wireless charging in it, all RGB. The Delta headphones got the RGB all on that. The, uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but this is an ambidextrous mouse. I'm left-handed and all my life I've always had to like deal with right-handed mouses, so 
finally bought one that was like ambidextrous, so I'm pretty excited about that. Got the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti graphics card. Saved a long time to buy this sucker. Hope that works out for me. Gonna be running it all with the Strix ROG 49 inch ultra wide. This thing is uh, 144 hertz. I don't know the, the pixel density or whatever of it, but it's pretty sweet. I've already had it hooked up to the MacBook, so it, it is pretty cool. Moving on to the case, right? So this is the Core P3 case. It's open. I wanted to build a computer mounted on the wall, and then I was searching around and I found this, and I thought it was kind of cool. So I'm going to be building it all in this case, but I've heard people say, I'm thinking about placing it here like this. I've heard people say that, that this is not really good for thermals. This doesn't really cool really well because there's parts of the motherboard up in here. Some of these parts, uh, you know, they need a little bit of cooling, but that's what's cool about this cooler is it has a little fan built inside there that blows out. That's supposed to blow around and cool all this stuff. So I'm hoping and I'm going to be okay, but if I have to get another case later, that's okay. But I really like this because I want to be able to see all the stuff that I saved forever to buy and display it, you know, like this in the case. That's going to be pretty awesome. I've already got the power supply mounted in there, and I had to do a little, this bracket, you probably can't see it because of the reflection, but there was a bracket that was going to cover up that ROG logo right there. It was supposed to go around, so I like already did some modifying, so it's in there nice and sturdy, but I don't have to have that bracket that goes around blocking half of my power supply. So, I'm pretty sure that covers everything. So, I'm gonna start putting this thing together. I kinda like this one better. So, anyway, let's start building this thing. All right, here we go. The long-awaited computer build is about to commence. I got my overhead camera here for you guys. Got this camera, got my GoPro, just in case I wanted to get some little close-up shots for something. I'm nervous. And, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I haven't demagnetized myself. But uh, I'm just going to jump in here uh, head first and start, start putting this thing together. I've watched a lot of build videos. My favorite one is the one by uh, The Verge. So I've watched that one quite a few times because he kind of he puts a lot of stuff in like layman's terms, so I really understand what he's talking about on some of that stuff. I've got some of the, the tools that he suggested suggested sorry in the build. Going to use my motherboard box as the as a build station. I don't even know where to start, to be honest with you. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just jump in head first and I'm gonna put the processor in this thing. Ryzen 7. I think I'm done with the anti-static bag. So the Ryzen 7 comes with uh, the Wraith cooler, which is pretty cool. It's supposed to, you know, be all right if you're not trying to overclock, which I'm probably not going to be trying to overclock nothing. I'm just going to be, you know, just running that regular for a little while. It's the first time I've like seen some of this stuff that I've been like checking out on the internet for so long. So let's zoom in a little bit. Can we do that? Cause y'all ain't getting anything from what we're doing here. It's good. Zoom in. Okay, so y'all can witness me screw this up. I see my little arrow that I'm supposed to be looking for is right there. So push, slide this thing. Put the thing up there like that. You want to try to open this up without touching or ripping it? Why do they put it in this little plastic thing like this where you got to be careful? I'll never know. We'll find my little arrow, which is right here. 
right? Okay, we're going to pull it out like this. And it's supposed to sit in there without any forcing. It, it just fell in there. All right. So we'll give this thing a little. And uh, apparently that's it. <laughs> From what I learned on the internet. So our Ryzen 7 processor is installed. Wish me luck, everyone. I think now would be a good time to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in the, the hard drive. This screwdriver does not fit that. Let me go get a screwdriver. Apparently you need two different types of screwdrivers to do this. Let's back it up a little bit because that, that's too close for what I'm doing here. Whoop, whoop, that should be good right there. Right there. Pull that little unit off of there. It's got a little, little tag. It's black or you could, if you like red, you can flip it over. That's pretty cool. Let's see here. Two more screws. Hmm. Ooh, takes a long one back there. We gotta remember that. Hmm. Computer people are probably cringing at this moment. What are you doing? That is also a long one. So a little short ones there and there. All right, so there's our slot. It's got a little uh, heat transferring pad there. This stuff is way smaller than I, you know, in the pictures. It So I seen a little baggie, eh, where to go right here? And this is a, uh, what size is this? I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure. Let me hold it up in here. Goes in this little slot like this. Boop, down like that. Okay, so that's the one I need to put it on. Goes right here. And this one you know what let's let's zoom in again so you guys can get the full effect of the mess that I'm about to make so this goes in this little slot right here like this and then just boop, pushes down and tightens up right there that's pretty cool My screwdriver is I'm not sure it's magnetic or not. All right, so that's the M.2 hard drive installed. Let's back up a little bit, put this shield back on here. Okay, so this goes back on here. This is like a heat sink. It's pretty cool. Peel some of this stuff off here. I can't believe I'm doing like a computer how-to because I am not, this is not a how-to. want to remind everyone, this might turn into a how-not. Oh, is that stuff sticky? All right, so here we go. do -si do I'm assuming that's pretty close. So took our long ones, put them back in here. Mm -hmm. 
that little cinch down. This screwdriver really doesn't fit these screws to my lockings. That'll do, I believe. My first peel of the build here. Uh, peel this little peel off. I gotta peel something. I gotta peel it. Come on, peel it. Well, it's making a mess of it. Well, that's not exciting. It's a different peel. I hate stuff like this. Okay. Ooh. Boink. And it left a little smudge on the end. Son of a bitch made a mess out of that. Let's get her, let's get her microfiber cleaner cloth her and get after that. There we go. Get this back installed on her. Ah. Is this screwdriver magnetic? It might be. Ah. Close enough. Maybe I'm just not trusting that it's Oh no, where did that go? Oh, I see it. Oh, it is magnetic. Okay, I just wasn't trusting that it was magnetic. Y'all were like, I can't see. You got it zoomed in too far. Let me zoom it out a little bit. Anybody's even watching this nightmare. The screwdriver is magnetic, but just not enough. There we go. Okay. So where this build is going to get really interesting is I don't know where all these headers. I have no idea where none of those go. Get over there. All right. So now we're going to install our Rizam. Yay. I think I'm going to stand up for this. I'm just going to stick them in there. I was going to say I might need to research this, but uh, line it up with our little thingy. Everybody makes this look so easy. Okay. I hope that's correct. I've got it in uh, lane B2 and A2. I'm gonna stop the video here and make sure that's right. Okay, so I gave them instructions a look over and I have come to the conclusion. I think I've got it figured out. So from what I understood, I got to take these screws out this right here <clears throat> this is for the other cooler setup like the air cooled setup or whatever I'm gonna pull this out And then install these little nut, uh, little standoff thingies here. Don't 
tight to get those, but mm, I'm gonna get them hand tight. Working man tight, how tight they're gonna be right there. It's pretty interesting how that works. Okay, so what I've gathered is I need to get the case now and lay it over here, go ahead and install the motherboard, install the radiator, then I can put the cooler on. So let's cut to the case over here. Well, over a year ago, I put this case together and uh, I put all the screws. I was thinking that the motherboard screws would come in the motherboard box, but I was wrong. Apparently they come in the case, but I, I put the standoffs on it like a year ago and put all the screws like in a pile and got them all mixed up. But I think I got it figured out. I'm gonna go ahead and install the motherboard in here. I hope that all my screws are in the right locations. ETX. I mean, it already looks like one of them wrong. Well, we don't have them. Okay, problem number one. Yeah, all those are there. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see it yet. Okay, so there's a screw right here. I got a standoff put there, but the board doesn't have a hole. It's like it's like it's got a place. Am I showing you right? Oh, it's right here. It's like there's a there's a hole here, and then there's supposed to be a hole here, but there's not one. So I'm gonna have to pull this standoff back out. Okay, now I believe we can go in with the motherboard. Uh. The IO shield is hitting this bar right here. But I'm gonna see if I can. Oh God, I don't think that's gonna work. All this time, and this motherboard may not go in this thing. What? And the HE double hockey sticks. Well, let's see if we can get this screw in right here somehow. Oh, it went. Yay. Okay, cross is averted. But good lord, it touches right there. I don't like that. I'm just going to start these. Come around and tighten them up later. Move this camera a little bit so you guys can see me a little bit. Just going to put them all in loosely to make sure this thing is going to work in here. So far so good. I think there's one right in the middle, right there. One right here. Oh no. Oh no. Give me that scroll, bitch. Come on, give me that sucker. Oh my head is in the way, I know. Those of you that are familiar with my channel and have been here for a while, what do you think about the, the new setup here of, of doing some... I've been wanting to have a, a table where I could have set up like this for a while. My drawer, if you've seen the video before this on the desk build, you'll see that I've got this little drawer that I made to pull out and make like a little table out of. I'm missing a screw already. I miscounted on the screws. Now I've got to hunt one more down screw. Let's see if we can get this thing set up here. Oh God, what was that? We'll find it. Oh, that was the screw that I was looking for. There she is. Motherboard's in there. Got the built-in IO shield coming out the back. At this point, we can go ahead and just kill the overhead camera because 
I don't think we're going to be getting too many overhead shots from here on out. side and comes right off all right so I'm gonna do this right here so I can just twist this there we go all right so this has a the magnetic dust filter on it that's magnetic pull it out blow it off so that tells me that I need to be drawing air uh, from outside in which I think it should blow out but the, the dust wasn't filter wouldn't work if it goes that way so I need to be pulling air from the back in so we're gonna try to figure out how to to do it where it works out that way set this thing aside so I don't know how I'm gonna set the camera up from here on out so you guys can participate in seeing what's going on here but uh, maybe Maybe this right here. I think what I'm gonna do if I want to get you guys a close up, I'll just come in here with the GoPro and, and give you guys a little bit of something. Can you see that? Are you happy with that? Comment below if you're happy with this situation. Cause this is, uh, I won't be building any more computers anytime soon to make you guys happy. But I'm pretty stoked on how it looks so far. All right, so let's figure out this radiator situation. Come on, her. So, can the screws, yes, the screws can be too long and they can go in there. I'm thinking I'm gonna mount it up here like this. And let's see here, we'll hold this right here and this. This, this G unit right here will come around Good Lord. Uh, this will come around here and attach like so it kinks the hoses all up in such a manner that I don't really like very much but it is what it is so let me find the screws that makes all this go together okay so I got one fan mounted on there and I went ahead and I've, I've installed the the Fantex halo on that one and um, I'm not sure about the wiring so I'm gonna figure that out later but I figured you know Vince I'm putting it on there I want to just go ahead and install it on there so I'll uh, show you guys I'll go ahead and install the second one here and uh, include you guys on that since I got the first one figured out get this sucker out of the box here it comes with like a little bit longer screws then the other screws they, they got kind of like a shoulder on them you probably that's why they're not gonna focus but uh, it's a little longer than the other screw they sent with the fan and also I noticed I said earlier that I was wanting to blow the air you know this way but unless you want to look at this ugly part of the fan, because you don't, you want to look at, at, at the pretty side, right? Well, it blows air that way. So I'm going to have to figure out, I don't know, I just have to deal with that. But anyway, you can go ahead and I'm going to get this one on here for you fellers. And ladies, if there's any watching, which I doubt. And hopefully, you can, uh, hopefully all this will fit in here. You can't get the wires in behind it though. That ain't gonna work. And 
just get one started just to hold it for just just a second. I think my camera's hunting focus like crazy. The lighting kind of sucks in here for this kind of stuff. Working on lighting after we get the computer done and we're gonna work on some lighting, getting some live stream equipment, some proper live streaming stuff going on. Just taking it in taking it in baby steps here. Stuff's expensive and you can't just unless you're making a living off of streaming, which I'll never never plan on doing. It's hard to buy all this stuff and invest in that kind of crap when it's just as a hobby. You know, I'm doing all this. I would like to say right here in the middle of this 30 minute video because people that will sit and watch this is is my homies. The ones that have watched this long of a video of, of boring crap like this. Um, you know, I may own this crap. And, you know, it, it, it's mine. But this is, this is to better the entertainment factor for you guys to um, I'm planning on editing I'm gonna acclimate to premiere from Final Cut on my Mac I'm gonna acclimate to premiere on this and hopefully it's gonna step up my game of editing live streaming it's all FPV related and it's all you know about you guys and you know me having fun trying to entertain y'all so this is this is y'all's computer too if that makes sense Okay, so now, something that I've been really worried about and stressing is installing the CPU cooler. I'm pretty sure I need these. So I've got to change it. Let's see if I can rotate around over here to what I'm going to be doing. Adjust the light a little bit. God, I can't see. So yeah, maybe you guys can. Maybe that light's not too washed out or retarded or looks shadowy. I don't know. Get these weird thumb screws out here. I would kind of like to lay this thing back down to do this, but I'm going to attempt to do it with it upright like this. Let's see how our how our hoses is gonna turn out see if I can figure out a way to do it so they don't look too bad I believe that'll work yeah that, that should work y'all probably can't see it but I can so we'll, we'll get you guys a better shot here in just a moment I gotta get that bracket put it on there Back the camera up a little bit. There we go. So I've got to take this bracket off without smearing the thermal compound there. I tried to figure out how to get this thing off earlier and I couldn't do it, but I think you gotta push something somewhere. I don't even know. So you do have to push down and turn. I see that. Like real hard though. <clears throat> ah, all right. Got that off. Now, is this thing keyed where it'll only go on like a certain way? That ain't gonna work. That's what we're looking for right there. All right, well, 
Here goes nothing on this because this this is something that's been terrifying me for a while. Is all this this thermal compound and how all these wires are gonna not get in my way? I guess I should take this get some of this stuff out of the way. I feel like I should be doing this with the computer laying down, but we're gonna do it with it upright. I hope the holes is lined up. I don't know what it's got two sets of holes. I don't know which one it goes in. I guess it goes in those. All right, so there's we got her mashed in there. Just gonna come and hand tighten that. Try to come around here and get this one over here. Come on, come on. Wait, I was trying to put the Phillips head side in. Yeehaw. Okay. Comes Kit Kat trying to screw up my day. I don't know how tight they're supposed to be, but I'm just going to cinch them down nice and even. Probably shouldn't, but I'm going to give them a little tweak with the screwdriver because they got screwdriver marks on them. Screwdriver places. I'd be even more terrified if this was like a thread ripper or something. I don't like how much that tightened down. Okay, I guess this thing's made to have like a certain amount of tension after you tighten these down because they do bottom out. There's no springs or anything like that. So, fingers crossed that I just installed that CPU cooler correctly. So, these wires, I have no idea where any of these wires go for any of this. This entire build, I have no idea where none of this goes. So I think I'm just going to keep like putting stuff together and then maybe uh, study the wiring a little bit. I'll definitely get a post clip for you guys like when I go to first turn it on. Definitely going to keep you guys involved for that. Uh... I don't know what I'm going to do next. Um, but when I turn it on, I'm definitely going to have you guys involved in that. So yeah, we've got our fan put in there. CPU cooler is installed. This thing is going to be a wire management nightmare with, with all of this that you normally don't have. This cooler has a, a little LED display right, that comes up right here, and I'm, I'm hoping to, to have my TAC logo or something come up right there. This, uh, this here goes on there. Like that. Looks pimp. Magnetic. It's got stuff that you peel off of, of all this stuff, but I heard this thing scratches real easy. So I kind of want to wait a little while on pulling that stuff off. i got to get the cat off. Of my computer stuff over here. Kick out, this ain't gonna work. You can't do that. Kick out is making me nervous all the time. All this stuff laying around everywhere and he's constantly jumping up on the workbench. Okay, so let me figure out what I wanna do at this moment in time. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do a peel. I can't stand it. Like it a lot. This is the one that I want to save. So, okay. Uh, I need to like take a break, sit back and think a little bit. Uh, we'll be right back with you fellas and uh, figure out what we're gonna do next. So I think what I've decided now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead I'm not going to like install, I'm just going to mount this hard drive here in this spot that it goes in here. This thing is pretty sweet. I'm excited about this hard drive because of the RGB and everything that it has on it. I already found some little screws to work. So I figured in this video, like every time I do something, I'll just give you guys like a little bit of an update. I'm not happy with, I wanted it to go in here, you know, sideways so so you could see, you know, the logo would be correct, but it, it's not going to mount like that. It's going to have to go flush mounted in there. Let's see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. Yeah. So, you know, I wanted it to be like this, but I can't get any holes to line up, no bracket or anything. So, it's going to have to go in there sideways. That's okay. It's still going to light up either way. So, I'm going to go ahead and, and get that thing screwed in there. And be done with that. We'll worry about hooking it up later. Because actually, I think what I want to do is so I don't get confused when I'm uh, like installing windows and everything. And so I don't accidentally install windows onto this because I want to install windows on the other drive. Uh, I'm just going to leave this thing unhooked for now. Just go ahead and, and have it mounted in there. So that's done. That way when I close the back or whatever, I'm definitely going to boot it before I do any wire management or anything like that. I'm going to, I want to try to hook up as many things as possible and uh, see if I can get it to post and then then worry about managing the wires making it all nice and neat and pretty we'll worry about that later Normally you would mount these in the back. It's got tons of places to mount them in the back. Uh, but I want this one to be seen. Hopefully I can still get to the plugs. Check all the screws. All right. There's a USB. I may have to pull this thing out to get that USB plugged in because there's like a, a micro USB on the bottom and then the SATA and the other plug goes right in there. I don't know. I may have to bend that little piece of metal down right there. You can't see it because of this thing's in the way, but there's a little piece of metal I might have to bend or something to uh, get everything hooked up the way it should. I probably should have put the wires on it and then mounted it in here. But I don't know. I'm stupid. I don't know what I'm doing to be honest with you. But to pay somebody else to do, to do this just takes the fun out of it. Let's see if I can get this plugged in. Or if I need to pull it back out. I can't see it.
think it's on this side. Well, <sighs> I'm gonna have to pull it back out and see if I can figure out how to plug the wires up. So, I'm gonna do that. Okay, by some miracle, I found the wires and I think I figured out everything on this hard drive, how this is going and get this rotated around on her. Get the computer off my wires. I'm really trusting this drawer, I'm telling you what. Okay, so, let's see if I can show you guys. Down here, I managed to find uh, the SATA wire, and this is the little USB that plugs into it to work the RGB, and then this is the power wire that goes to the PSU, the power supply. So, now, I don't even know what to do next. Each step, I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So, I don't know what to do. Just keep putting stuff in it. That's what I'm going to do, I guess. <sighs> I mean, I really need to, like, plug stuff up and I guess I could figure out how to mount the graphics card. I mean, I don't really have anything else to go in there but the graphics card, I believe. Pretty sure. I'll turn this thing in ground here one more time. I mean, I can, I can start running the power wires and get it ready to power up. Lost track of what I'm doing, and I don't know if I've got everything in here or not yet. Start figuring out some of the wiring. Uh. Wires running everywhere. Zoomed in too much. Got to rotate a little bit. Should probably lift the camera up and set it back a little bit. Let's see here. This light may be too bright. Is that right? Is that good? You see? I've got the window behind me here, so that may help with some things. Like all these wires right here, I have no idea where they all go. Which one is which? They're not marked. That's SATA, so I guess that's supposed to pick up SATA power somewhere. I... Probably should have used a different wire on that. So I don't know if I can, should have run this over and out through here. Pick up Sata that way. I, mean, I don't like that. That's kind of the bad thing about this this cooler is it's just got a bunch of daggum wires that probably should do something different than what I'm doing with them. I'm not going to bore you guys with me trying to figure out some of the wiring, so when I get some kind of an update, I'll give you guys here pretty soon. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out some more of the wiring and not bore you guys too much. Okay, so after I took a break for a while because this was kind of stressing me a little bit, but I looked through all the the billions of manuals that comes with everything. And I think I've got most of the wiring figured out. But one thing that just kind of boggles my mind a little bit is this, this wire is going to the CPU head connection on the top. I'll turn it around so you can see that. But that thing like banjo string tight. They did not give me enough to go from the power supply all the way up to there. It, it was even tighter, but I stuck the wires in there to, uh, 
to, to make room, you know, to got it down in this crack right here. I hope you can see that. But it was like up on the top of it and it was like tight. So I got it loosened up. We'll spin it around. Hope you guys can see that. Let's see if it looks better with this light off. My neighbors is shooting guns. The light's pretty bright. I, I need to diffuse it a little bit. But anyway, I'm trying to shed some light on the subject here. Can you see that? Let's rotate it a little bit. CPU wire there. My neighbors is going at it with some guns. So yeah, the CPU wire is looking good. You know, everything, I think I've got everything figured out. I've got my uh, front panel connectors hooked up. Can I zoom in on that? I'm trying to leave this thing on the tripod. Put the light on it a little bit. Now Kit Kat's trying to get in the room. Front panel connectors is all hooked up here. Um, USB 3, USB 2.0, you know, power and all that stuff. The uh, headphone connections, you can't see that. Got to rotate it a little bit. Got the uh, HD audio connections hooked up. I think I've got this uh, cooler hooked up the way it should be. Rotate this back a little bit. I think I've got the, the, the CPU cooler hooked up. I got it hooked up to the uh, AIO pump there and the wire going to the fans. And then I had to hook up a SATA connector to that. Got the 12 pin connector here hooked up. They didn't really line this hole up cause it was gonna like come at a weird angle. So I ran it through a little slot right there and it pretty much got every wire run through there. So. Uh, I'm gonna go start now. I'm gonna do the little thing here where they on this particular ca uh, case the the GPU is mounted with this ribbon cable thing right here, you know, and it mounts here and then it attaches down in here. I'm going to try to rotate it so you guys can see this a little better. Let's see here. How's that? Move the camera back a little bit. Give myself some room here. You're going to have to just kind of like deal with the artificial lighting right now. It's starting to get a little dark outside, so the lighting's going to start getting a little weird. So yeah, this thing goes in here where your graphics card would normally plug in. Mm. Weird connector. Does that snap in? Yep, there it went. Snap just then. So that's in there, right? Am I getting this? Probably not. But this thing bolts down in here. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to bolt this. I don't really want to get it too close. I want to leave it some space. So I think pretty much right there is where I'm going to go with it. Might have to adjust this later. I don't know. Get this thing in here. I'm pretty sure, aside from the RGB that's going to these uh, fan, the Fantech RGB fan uh, shrouds or halos or whatever, I don't have those hooked up to any RGB and the uh, SSD hard drive down there is not hooked up to any RGB header. That is the only thing besides the GPU that is not hooked up that I know of. These are thumb screws and I'm tightening the hell out of them. All right, so let's set this back over here. For just a moment. So now, get out the uh, graphics card finally been waiting to do this for a while yeah yeah so 
You guys can't see that. Good lighting, I'm sorry. Is it zoomed in? Yeah. All right. Yank this graphics card up out of her. I don't know. I tore the box like a gorilla. All right. Well, that's cool. Check that out. I'm probably definitely going to need this to add to the pile of books I'm looking through here. Try to put this thing together. Doing a quick overview. Thanks for purchasing your Asus graphics card. Yep. We'll look through that in a minute. I think we can go ahead and like maybe stick it in there. What is this? Some, uh, Cable ties. Good lord. It's kind of heavy. I reckon there's anything else in the box. I don't see any wires. <laughs> I guess it's all controlled by the PCIe or whatever. I'm going to lay this piece of foam back down here. Okay. Oh wow, it looks like it's got a peel on the back of it. Well, let's just, it's got a balance mode, performance mode and quiet mode on a switch right here. It's in, make sure it's in performance mode. All right, let's do this peel right here. I like the peels. Hey. Everybody likes the pills. It's not just me. All right. It's got a dual 8-pin connection right there. Dual 8-pin. So here's the part that I'm not sure of. Let's just pretend we're going to put it on right here. All right. Stupid AIO crap. Let's see if we can raise those up. There, that'll be fine. Oh gosh, this is going to be pimp. I'm excited. All right, I'm trying to see where. Um, well, it looks like I've removed the correct thing in my bobbers there. Let's uh, let's pull this thing back over here so you guys can see what's about to happen here. Can you see that? Do a little tilty tilt. All right. Mm, I think I'm ready. Sock this sucker in there. Pretty sure. Pull the little protective thing off of here. I might need to pull. Of course, that's tighter. You know what? I think that screw might be hindering me there. We'll see. I think this thing takes up more than two slots. I don't remember. This makes me nervous. This makes me nervous. This weird side stand thing. Oh, 
Come on, go down in there. There it goes. Is it in there? Yeah. Yes. She is in there. Now I can put my little thumb screws back on her. Okay, so there is some RGB headers on the back side of this thing over here, and I can't remember if if those are for hooking up the RGB or if they are for uh, where you can hook up other RGB things. I don't remember. So now, now that it's in there, let's get us a good look at that. Yeah, back it up. That's pretty much the complete, complete setup right there. Looking pretty pimp, I think. So yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to look at the book a little bit on this thing. See what this header is about right here. Go ahead and, and run my um, GPU wires up here and get them hooked up to the, the power supply. And then I'll come back to with you guys to maybe turn this thing on. We think about that. Hell yeah. Okay. So I've got all my PCIe uh, wires hooked up to the power supply. The only thing that I don't have plugged in, which uh, I'm going to go ahead and unplug this hard drive because. The only thing that's not plugged into th is is the uh, RGB control in this hard drive, and I have discovered that it requires five volts, and all the other stuff is twelve volts. And it's supposed to plug into actually well, actually a USB port, and I don't have any extra USB ports, so I don't. I'm gonna have to figure out something on this hard drive. I probably should have bought the twelve volt version, but I didn't know. What else? I'm wanting to unplug this the power to this hard drive. Yeah, okay, so this hard drive is completely undone. Uh I should be able to turn it on. Are y'all ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna turn the power supply on. Is that some lights? We got some lights. Is that some standby lights? What is that? I don't know what that means. And the power. <laughs> How about that? I mean, that looks to me like... I don't know what these lights mean. Can y'all see these lights? I have no idea what those mean. See the animation going on right there? That's pretty cool. Well, 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 well. I think that one beat means that no keyboard was detected. One long beep and three long beeps. I forgot what that meant. I did look at that. I mean, but that that's on to me, right? Is that what you think? Is that on? Why is this red only? It's breathing red. And this is, everything else has got rainbow effect going on. Everything else looks good. This may be defaulted to breathing red because I don't have that hooked up. I may have to figure that out. Because I don't know if you're actually supposed to hook this up to make it work with everything. 
All right. Well, YouTube, this is, uh, I am not going to walk y'all through the, or not walk y'all through, I am not going to, uh, I can't get my camera. It's stuck in here. Okay, so I believe this is what I would call a posted computer. I'm not going to bore you guys with, with trying to get windows on it and, and maybe figuring out some of the rest of this stuff. I think I'm ready to, to hook this thing up to the monitor and get some windows installed and some other stuff. Uh, I'm going to do some, take care of some of this wire crap. I ain't going to bother y'all with that. I appreciate you guys watching this video and hanging out with me while I put this thing together. I am pretty freaking stoked about it. Hell yeah. I mean, I mean, heck yeah. So, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And now it's time to go rip some balls and make some videos. So, here we go. See you guys.